The most initial aftermath was, let's make Rich Man, Poor Man into a series. Um, and Silverman, Fred Silverman was at the network time, and he came to me and said, come here, Brandon, we can just take Rich Man, Poor Man, take some of the actors, and be on the air nine months from now. This was like the winter, he went on the air in September as a series, and we'll do it as a series, and we'll get Peter Strauss, and all those people will continue, and it'll be great. And I said, no, it's, you can't do that. And he said, well, what do you mean? He said, well, it took us five years to develop Rich Man, Poor Man, and five years to get the writing right. It was, it was labor of love. You can't then suddenly quickly get somebody to write it as a series, and because the quality is going to suck, the audience is going to know it immediately, and they're going to get pissed off, and that's the end of that, which is exactly what happened, and, um, which is too bad. I mean, we should never have done it as a series. But, but I'm mentioning it only as an example. Of course, I mean, you know, network television, something worked. Um, we want 17 more. And, and um, the NBC in, reacted by putting on a series called Best Sellers, which you may or may not remember. And, and that was a week they do uh, a book and then a book and then a book and a book and a book. And of course, that didn't work either because they didn't do it right. Um, the... Uh, it takes a very, very long time to develop these miniseries, and you have to be very carefully done for lots of different reasons, and we can talk about that later. But um, uh, So you can't hurry them. You can't rush them. They take minimum of four years to do. Most, some of the ones we'll talk about took five, six, seven years to do, and that's just the way it is. So you churn in them out. Coffee grinder, it's not going to work.